Hello everyone, Pally Time here. Welcome back to Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Over the course of the last episode or two, actually just last episode, we were exploring a brand new zone with a bunch of underwater themes. We're running through coral reefs. We heard sea shanties from pirates. It's been an absolute joy. But of course, there are still a few side quests here to do, and I love 100% in games. So here we are, talking to Oren. Help this poor, restless spirit. 20,000 years under the sea. What troubles you, ghost? You are kind to stop on my account. It is more than I deserve. But my truest love, Yara, she pays a price which should be mine. Why? What happened? I would bid you to follow. Sure. Worshippers of the feral serpent Grisnesack have preyed upon the surface dwellers to feed their sacrificial rites since an age forgotten. And all that time, I have been here, not but aghast, unable to stop them. But I can be of some assistance. I will grant an ingress to their temple. That would be great. Gaze now Looks like a pretty solid wall. Victims of the coiled cultists. Oh, I like the finger snap. That was nice. What did? Whoa! There's lots of gravy stones. Like a lot. Okay, good. A lot, a lot. Yeah, that's a lot, a lot. We get it. It's a lot. Wait a minute. Gravestones? This used to be the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> yeah, it did. Make any sense? It's called scene setting, Valentini. Based on your arsenal, I assume you will not blanch at your task. You must slay the coiled Tizox and retrieve the five pieces of Yara's voice shattered by the dark magic. Wow, look at this temple, bro. I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a photo for the tribune of just the temple. Voice into a dark resonance which summons the fell serpent. Curse them. They befoul Yara's memory, and in doing so. They bind her soul to this mortal plane. I will not rest until she is free. I won't rest either, bud. Although, like, do you really even rest ever? You're kind of a ghost. Yeah, look at that. What a grand oh, entrance. I were enjoying a midday sail. She was singing me a song of such beauty that I nearly hey, Your subtitles disappeared, so it's going to be pretty hard to hear you. Around us. Okay, well, thanks for sharing that story. I'll get right to work. This place looks pretty expansive on the inside. We, we also get some of that bioluminescent foliage around here. I'm such a sucker for that stuff. I think it looks so cool. We have a Naga here. Look at that facial expression, too. Hold on. We're going to have to get the lighting and contrast right. I think you might be thumbnail material. Beautiful. Look at that. You are so scary. Okay, we are surrounded on all sides by underwater beings that seem pretty well equipped for combat. They have stabs that are firing off spells. Underwater, like, coral shields that they're hiding behind. But that doesn't stop me from casting my spells where our true power lies. I am going to have to line of sight the majority of this because we are running out of defenses. But it looks like the main target has been taken down. And the rest of these guys hopefully don't put a, a, as much of a fight as she was. So we have to find her voice boxes and then place them in an area. And it looked like that enemy had one of the voice boxes. A cabal of wicked coiled. And in a flash, they snatched my beloved from the deck, dragging her below. I don't know why subtitles aren't showing up for this guy, so I apologize for that. But, you know, it's not my fault, so. Looks like this is the place where we're going to put the voice boxes. Maybe, like, around this room? Bro, how big is this place? Look at this map. There's branching paths all over the place. So there's five more, or five total, four more of the voice boxes to collect. I'm going to collect all of them first, and then we'll place them all down at the same time. It looks like we need to find the biggest, baddest enemy in these areas, and she's going to have it each time. So that gives me a very clear target to assassinate. 
But let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have a legendary drop on the ground. These are pretty fucking rare. We don't get these very often. This is a big moment. Hold on, hold on, there's the meteor. Beautiful. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What is this? It is a black powder gun. Crossbolt generator of the firearm. Get get this, it's a crossbow that fires more crossbows. That's what the red text says. Unfortunately, the item level on this is really low. Uh, It doesn't fire more crossbows. What are they, what are they talking about? Well, critical strikes are going to ricochet at least, and if the target takes 4% increased melee damage for each crossbow stuck, so this might be really good for the Stabomancer. Unload a bunch of shots into a target, and then hit him for a melee attack. Seems like it'll be okay for us. In pursuit without hesitation, swimming down and down, a fire of devotion in my veins. Then, just as I thought my strength would fail me, I grasped her hand. <clears throat> Um, I like getting little tidbits of the story here. That's nice. Corrosive barrel right next to our main target. That makes our job really easy. Give it here. I'm leaving. <laughs> the blackening sea. The creatures raking me with their talons, but I did not let go. My lifeblood swirled around me, salty brine burning in my lungs, but I did not let go. Proud of you, bud. We see our new target at the end of this room. The meteor being called in first. The ice flying soon after. And I will take my prize. <laughs> this is nice. I saw as my shit faded. Her delicate face twisted and wide eyed in terror. Wordlessly fading. I could not save her. I failed. That's what I've always loved about the Borderlands games. Oh, nailed it. The amount of freedom you get with your jumps and being able to really efficiently complete quests if you're moving right, it's always been what's drawn me to this series. One of the things that's drawn me to this series. All right, this is the last of the voice boxes. We're gonna grab it and head to the middle. Oh, we actually don't have far to go. We'll do. And prepare yourself for only through the crucible of Grisnesak's death will Yara's voice be mended. So once I placed this one of these voice boxes down, a note started to be played. Do you hear that? It's like we're making a harmony with all these different boxes. That's actually pretty nice. I don't hate that at all. Excuse me, stand in that meteor, please. I mean, I guess it would make sense that an underwater creature resists fire a little bit, but if you could show yourself or not, I'll hit you with some ice. It comes. Who calls me hence? You are not one of my servants. Hey, can we just talk about this? No, it looks like we have to kill him. All right, we're going to break line of sight around this corner. Call in the meteor on the corner as well. One of the mages ch chased after me. Actually, it was the main boss. I don't even want to take an attempt at saying that name. I, I don't think I'm capable of saying that name. After the shields went down, our damage is looking pretty good. We have another ice grenade to, to sling out, but it reset my reload timer. Wait, a soul vessel? Is she going to come back if I don't destroy this? That won't do. That won't do. All okay, right, we have her voice and a spell shot upgrade. Hey, bud. What agony it must have been for Yara to have her soul bound in darkness, her voice riven from the weave of her spirit. But we will make it right. Are you about to open up another wall? I'm here with you. What do you need me to do? Oh, he's just waiting to snap his fingers. Look at that. Can you hear it? I can't hear anything. Uh, no. Her song. The last song she ever sang for me. It's even more beautiful than I remember. Well, that's good. I'm glad you get to experience that again. To my great and eternal shame, I could not save you in life. But even in death, I have not abandoned you. I only pray that my actions this day will finally grant you the peace which oh, that's his body. Denied for so very long. 
please make her whole again. Sure, I'll just I'll just leave that right here for you. Orin, it is time to let go. Nora, but I've only just gotten you back. We can be together again, but you must let go. As you wish, my love. It's hard. Well, I'm glad we were able to put that back together for him and he was able to rest. It's always hard when you lose a family member, my dude. My condolences, spirit. I can't tell if it's our movement speed that is making us so efficient at knocking out content or if some of these side quests are just really short. But we do have another one to pick up right in front of us. And as far as I can tell, it's the last one for this area as well. Hey, how you doing? Joyful Roy! Perhaps you can do a fellow plunderer a fair turn for a fair wage, eh? Raiders of the Lost Shark. He paid a heavy price for his poor judgment. First things first, head to the wreck of me ship, the Carolan. Ooh. My one true love. Oh, aside from the sea, of course, but the sea's gone now, so I guess it's just the ship. Yeah, sorry about that. That's my fault. Go, me and the lads made off with a set of pearls from a shrine to Chumbern. The bastard queen whose toothy visage still fits <laughs> For our transgression, her bloody fins wrought such waves as to wreck her carol and consigning our souls to the deep and damning us with undeath for all eternity. Whoa. My sweet Caroline. Now keep your eyes about you. The pearls can't be far. Every glimmer of the sea's bounty is Is it a black mine. pearl? Their harvest is my <clears throat> hoard. And all that lies beneath the waves is my kingdom. Is it a gun chest? Maybe Chumberly, but I'm hard pressed to spot any weeds about these sands. Then face the jawsome wrath of my emissaries. Well done, matey. There are three more lying about somewhere. Quickly now. Oh, quickly is my middle name. Chumberly, the sea jerk, lady of storms, and I will have vengeance. It looks like this path over here has to be cut. Or shot down. The lowest tide ever seen by sailors' eyes. <laughs> no one plunders from me and lives. I have drowned mountains and drunk seas. What? And I once caught a seagull with just my hat and boot laces. But you don't hear me boasting. Exactly. Well, I thought we were climbing up this ship to get easy access to that top floor. And actually, it looks like we might have to go around to this side. We've collected two out of the four, if you count the first one that I picked up. It was technically another part of the quest. And it looks like weapon chests are still going to be where they're hanging out in, so we'll keep our eyes peeled for those. And indeed, this path does lead back into the ship above. I love it when we're scaling the environments like that. It seems this game has a lot of opportunities to really do that. Hey, Joyful Roy. Oh, that's one of his, his crew. He's reinforcing us. We're not alone up here. That feels good. Wait, what is... That seems bad. Well, that shoots a cannon forward. Well, it looks like that is the way we have to go. Can I assume that this cannon breaks it? Yes, indeed. Just barely making that jump. I believe this is the last of the chests, but it wasn't what we were looking for. It says it's above me. How could it be above me? <clears throat> Unless it was on the ship all along? Nope, that's not it either. Decent black powder weapon, though. 
I'm having a really hard time finding this last one, but I've slayed a lot of enemies. So uh, we hit level 26. Level 40, as far as I know, is the level cap in this game. So we're well along our way. I do think I'm leveled up past what I'm supposed to be here, but the levels kind of scale up to, to meet us. So you can, like, uh, your path can deviate quite a lot from what we're doing. Oh, is this it? Nope. Nope, still... Still not, still not it. Oh my God. Was it seriously right here on the top deck this entire time? How many times did I walk by this? Oh, I got him. Nicely managed matey. That be the lot of them. Quicken back for your payments. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'll find you right away. I'm sure that won't be a problem. <laughs> All right, bud, we made it back. Yeah, I knew you had it in you. Now, uh, proper those pirated pearls, if you please. Yeah, absolutely. Those pearls belong to me. Return them to my shrine, lest you earn my ire, mortal. Hold on, that's kind of a shark talking to me. I, I kind of feel like, uh, like I don't want to make the sharks mad. Then again, you know, we have been helping the skeletons out here. We've been helping the pirates out here a lot. We, um, I think I'm, uh, I think I'm gonna I, I'm gonna give them back to the rightful owner, Spoils my dude. I think I'm gonna try try to not make the sharks mad at me. The gods. Payment be damned. Yep. You pilot bag of black and bills, scum! We had an arrangement. I'll kill all your cankerous hide and feed you to the gulls. You know, to be fair, we did have an arrangement, but I have a counter offer. What's stopping you from picking those up off of this plate and just taking them, Joyful Roy? Well, he teleports away. He does have a decent amount of armor, it seems. At least oh, never mind. We shredded right through that. This guy is so screwed. I made the right call. His actual health pool is really, really high, though, even surviving some of our frost grenades already. It does like he, it does seem like he got staggered when our status effect hit. Here, let's make sure he gets all of those projectiles. I don't want those veering off to any other targets. Same thing with the meteor. Make sure we are aiming at Joyful Roy. And we got him. Hey, so are we friends now? How your faith is richly rewarded. I hope it's good. I hope it's really good. Can it be a grenade? Whoa! Lest I change my mind of you again. Whoa, a status effect sniper rifle. A status effect sniper rifle. And it shoots hearts! <laughs> Hold on, I won't zoom in. Uh, let's aim for that shark over there. <gasps> Critical hit and huge. Whoa! 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 All right, we made the right call. We made the right call. We sided with the gods and it was worth it. This is the best sniper rifle I've ever used. Oh, and there's so much good stuff here. Am I in the market for a new SMG? The fire rate on this is significantly slower, but the damage per shot seems pretty good. Here, let's try it. Let's, let's compare it. Excuse me, Breacher, can you come here? All right, so that was the whole magazine of what we have with this submachine gun. Let's try out the new one. Much slower firing. It looks like our shots do ricochet, right? If we hit a target. So we're getting AOE damage with this. Uh, weapon work capacity, damage protected in front. It didn't say anything about it, but they were flying all over the place, actually. More testing might be required. And we aren't even like a status effect build. You know what I mean? We're not building wisdom at all. We're all cooldown reduction and crit damage. And that's it. Oh, this skull dugger looks pretty good. It's not an elemental weapon and it will overheat, but look how fast that unloads. That's really good. 
and a black powder pistol on the ground. Oh, now we are talking. I'm just going to take off. I'm just going to take all of this. All of this is my, my inventory's full. I want to bring it all with me, though. Wait a minute, a TDR pistol as well. Let's see if we like this one. Oh, jeez. Okay, I made I made a small amount of room in my inventory. I don't think I'll like this over the Jacobs. Oh, what's the TDR effect? It's like a little homing grenade. Now, I wonder if my spell damage helps to scale that kind of thing. I don't think it does. We're going back to the Jacobs. And unless I am mistaken, which it doesn't look like I am, we have seen all of this zone, done all of the quests that it has to offer, and that means we can probably go back here and get the collectibles as well. I don't know what the YouTube algorithm does these days, but if you've made it this far into the video, you're probably interested in Wonderland. So if you want to find all of the collectibles, we do have a separate playlist showing the location of all of them and all of the zones that we've completed. So this one will show up soon. Thank you guys so much for being here. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. We'll be back again tomorrow with some more of our Tiny Tina adventure. Boy, that thing is tanky. <laughs> you don't think this weird bulb on the back is like where he takes bonus damage, do you? Because that's a really big target. It'd be a shame if you just kept that out there for everyone to shoot. God, I don't have any room to loot stuff. Is it any good? Is it any? Oh, that wasn't worth it. That wasn't worth moving in to take the damage. I can't even tell what it is. I'm gonna fucking die. Just what I needed. Fire damage. Nope. Nope. I'm good. Okay. See you guys later. Goodbye.